Welcome to Aurora Graphics. My name is Grant Dorsey, and this week I thought I'd show you how to do a, a custom football and a custom football helmet using some of the artwork off of our website. Um, now, if you've got a team logo, for instance, if you're setting up some signage for a local football game or something like that, and you've got the logos for the two different teams, you're going to make a banner or something like that. Uh, rather than try to get a, an actual photograph of the helmets and make them exactly perfect, it's easier if you can just take their logo and fake a mock-up on, on the helmet that we've provided and uh, then you can also make a mirror image of it change the color put the other logo on the other helmet and now you've got a professional looking set of helmets facing off uh, so let's just get into it this helmet is pretty good size I'm actually going to shrink it down let's go about 1500 pixels and this is available on our website if you're wondering roargraphics.net and so here's our logo we've got that on the placed on top of the helmet uh, the first thing I like to do is try to warp this image in fact this is gonna if you're gonna warp it at all you'll want to do this before you to begin the rest of the steps and I just like to dip the back end down a little bit so that it looks like it's actually wrapping around the helmet uh, depending on the different logo that you have you may want to exaggerate this a little bit more or a little less and uh, so now that we've got our warp finished, the next thing we're going to do here is control click the picture of the layer in the layers palette, or you can go select, load selection, and that's going to allow you to load selection on this layer. Now what we're going to do is go edit copy and edit paste on the football layer. So if I turn off this logo and I turn off the football helmet, now you see we've got the, a chunk of the football helmet cut out perfectly to size for the, uh, for the logo. And that's what we want. So with this layer selected, I'm going to go Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. And that's going to pull all the color out of the image. The next thing we want to do, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this logo. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is turn our logo back on. And I'm going to go ahead and merge this to a new layer so I can get rid of that stroke. Um, whenever I, I just grab this off the internet and use the magic wand tool to take the background off real fast and it gave it a slight little white gray edge. So I just put an inside stroke of black at one pixel and it got rid of it. So, Okay, next thing we're going to do here is switch the logo layer into overlay mode. And you can see it got super, super dark back in here. And that may or may not be something that you're looking for. If it's not correct, if, if you'd like to change that, uh, select the gray layer that's below the, the logo here. You can see we're on that layer. And now under image adjustments, go to your levels tool. And this is something I use almost every single time I touch an image. And you notice if I bring the black slider in, it's only affecting that gray area right here, just this one layer. And because we don't want to make that darker, what we're going to do is actually come off of the black with the lower one, like this. And we can even come into the white if you needed to add highlights or something like that. But it looks to me like we just need to come off the black slightly. And so now it looks like we've got a, a decent fade there. And it even allows the shine from the football helmet to come through. So I'm just going to change my canvas size here under image and if I stick the square over here on the left and I increase the width you'll notice let's just go to to I don't know 225 percent and if the squares over here all your expansion is going to be to the right and so the, this helmet will stay on the left and the canvas will get bigger to the right if I were to click this square, it would go the other way in the helmets. You, you would have room for another helmet on the wrong side. So we're going to go ahead and leave it here and click OK. You can see it kicked our canvas size out. And I'm just going to hold alternate and drag out a copy of this helmet. Flip it horizontally. And then we'll go ahead and change the color for a different team. This is just under... Uh, image adjustments hue and saturation so image adjustments hue and saturation pulls up this dialog box also control U will get you there that's how I went and so we're gonna just gonna open up this other logo here this is way bigger than this helmet remember we shrunk that down 
So I'm just going to grab the transform controls, come in here like this, and flip him horizontally. And I might as well, if you hold alternate, you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Also, you can use control plus and minus to zoom in and out while you're transforming without uh, applying your transform. Now we've got to do the, the small amount of warp here. As long as you don't distort his face too much, you should be all right with this. So we're going to click OK on that. And the next step here is going to be to load selection on this layer. Then we're going to select the football helmet layer and edit copy and edit paste. Now we've got the, the purple layer here. We're going to control shift U to desaturate it. Turn back on our Panther and put him in overlay mode. And so now we reselect. Remember, this is our layer. We want the, uh, the gray layer image adjustments go to our levels also control l will get you there and we're going to start coming off the black and maybe add a little bit of darkness in the gray area click ok you can see the hot spot coming through right there uh, so we can step backwards and it may be better for you just to leave this this logo posted on here if, if you go through the blending options and you change this stuff and it, and it looks worse than if it was just sitting on there you can obviously just lay the logo on there in some instances like with this here I'll just come in and delete this part control D to deselect and now you've got your opposing teams for your banner and so using a very similar method, you can also do that with uh, the football here. So if you were trying to make a custom football for someone, I'm just going to step back a little bit here until I get the original Panther again, drag him onto the football. <clears throat> and if you were going to leave room for the name of the team, you know, like the Panthers or whatever this the, the logo happens to be for, uh, you can use this same method. It, it may be easier for you to merge the text and the the logo all at the same time to one layer to do this with. It, it may be easier for you to use, do them one at a time. Uh, it's just kind of up to you and what's going to work for the color image that you have. If Obviously, if you use a really dark image or a really light image, you're going to have a little bit more difficult time using the blending options to make it look right on the, the football or the helmet. So. I'm just going to click OK on this. Uh, you could warp this if you feel like it. Again, control click to load selection on the logo. Then we're going to copy and paste the section of football that we'd like to use. And if you turn off the logo here and I hit control shift U, you can see we're turning that section gray. Uh, the next thing here is going to change this to overlay mode. And now you can see we're starting to get the actual pattern of the football coming through. It almost looks hand painted on there. So control L to bring up our levels. And remember that the pattern is going to change slightly as you adjust this. See how I'm getting way more pattern coming through. And so uh, a happy medium here is going to be best. The other option is you can try changing your blending option. Let's see if multiply works. Uh, we're going to end up with quite a bit more white on the football. See how the shadow is coming in down here, gray? That's not going to be optimal. So there's one way to go about it. And we'll just do it real quick with the Hornet as well. In fact, I'll shrink our football down so it matches a bit, at least size-wise. Grab our logo here. We'll even type Hornets here. Bring out my character under Window.
and um, if you notice this button right here on your text tool you can actually warp so like you can throw an arc on there and then bend it this way to kind of go follow the the edge of the football there and we can change the horizontal distortion if you'd like to taper it one way or the other um, and this if you use this warp text tool this allows your text to stay live and also follow a, a warp so you can retype it if you'd like um, we're just going to go ahead and center it up here a bit go ahead and make it yellow and then again since I've got a layer style here I'm gonna create a new layer and select them both and then under layer I'm going to merge them down and so now we've got the the Hornets logo I'm actually gonna see if I can darken that up some actually it's not the same color yellow but that'll work there that's better all right so now if we were going to merge these two together uh, you could select both layers actually I'm gonna move this down a bit so it looks a little better layer merge layers and now we can control click this control C V to copy and paste a section of the football you can see right here desaturate it with control shift U and then we're going to change this to overlay now if we go to our levels tool here try to play with this son oh I'm on the I'm on the logo layer that's why it was giving me something weird we need to be on the gray so under our levels again control L brings up your levels we can adjust the uh, brightness and contrast and so you can see solid color images uh, like the, the your typical school logos actually work really well for this whereas if you use uh, gradients and things like that it, it tends to want to muddy up the, the picture the good news is most logos for schools are are solid vector images but anyways guys that's uh that's pretty much it on on custom footballs and helmets I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I really appreciate you joining me for it. Hope to see you again next time. Thanks.